Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on Microsoft Flow Simulator. Today at 5.30 Zulu time, the Microsoft Flow Simulator team released World Update France and Benelux. Now, not only do these World Updates bring new photogrammetry, new buildings, new points of interest to certain areas around the world, they also bring a large amount of updates to the sim as a whole. Today, as always, I'll be going through them all, so stick around as we take a look at World update 4 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, it is a big one. So as always guys, before you do these updates, I recommend you clear your community file as you may find some add-ons conflict with the updates or cause crashing to desktop, which is never fun. As always, to download the scenery, you need to go over to the marketplace and click world update 4. So I have to say this world update is really amazing. Now sure it has its flaws and I'll get into that later but let's get into what we get. So if you download the package you get two 3D photogrammetry cities and they're both major cities Paris and Amsterdam. I have to say Paris is looking very nice and Amsterdam is one of my favourite cities to fly in. That approach is always amazing, it's such a pretty place. The photogrammetry doesn't seem to be as FPS reducing as London and it seems to be pretty smooth which is always nice. On top of this you get three new handcrafted airports, McGeev, Nice and Rotherham. I apologise if I pronounced that wrong. And addition to that, a massive thing is that you get 100 additional Orbex improved airports throughout the area. You heard that right, 100 airports. Now of course I can't show you every single bit of new scenery in this video. On the screen now we're running through some of the major bits, but it just looks amazing. They do a really good job on these world updates. As always with these updates we get newly added autogen elements to add to the authenticity of the area. Basically they add new props to the autogen improving the overall look of the area. Now of course Benelux and France includes the countries of Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg which is a massive area including France of course. And overall there is 100 famous landmarks or points of interest being added. That does bring impeccable levels of detail throughout the region. The airports, the handcraft airports really look amazing. I have to say Nice is my favourite. They've done a really good job at modelling the main terminal. There is so many landmarks, it's unbelievable. 100, I mean there is just so many, you're not going to be able to get around all of these in one day to say the least. There's also plenty of football stadiums added, which is always a nice touch. Of course, the capital cities such as Paris have received special attention and you find the majority of the famous landmarks and points of interest around there. But overall, it's a nice spread, it has to be said. On top of that, you get two new activities, including a landing challenge at La Salette and a new bush trip in the height of the Pyrenees and Alps. Rotterdam Airport is looking marvellous, Rotterdam the Hague Airport. I mean, the airport terminal itself is really nice. It's got that 60s, 70s style, and it just looks really, really nice in my opinion. It's one of my favourite looking airport terminals because it's unique. Most airport terminals nowadays are quite modern, quite circular, and quite white. In addition to that, this airport is very close to the UK, so it's perfect for small hops over the North Sea. Now, the Orbex updates to 100 airports is certainly something very important. Now, basically, the general gist of it is that it's not necessarily handcrafted, as in new buildings, but there is visual and logic improvements, so they state. The majority of this is actually improving the kind of aerial imagery and elevation data to result in a more realistic looking airport. On top of this, they've of course swapped out some of the buildings to get rid of weird tower blocks at smaller airfields and replaced them with more authentic buildings. On top of this, they've also added two real world liveries and I think this is quite important as it may pave the way for AI airline traffic. I think this is the route they're going down so we may see that in the next update. Now you get the S7 livery, which is a Russian airline in the A320neo, as well as the KLM 787-10 Dreamliner. I think that's a very nice touch, and it shows Asobo's commitment to really improving the sim. As you can expect, these liveries are really high detail. Overall, this world update is really looking good. Probably one of the best, if not the best, so far in terms of all the content we've got. 
Most of the points of interest are in France, I'd say about two thirds, although this is a rough estimate from the list they gave us. And then the rest is equally split, I'd say, between Belgium and the Netherlands. We also get some improvements to parts of the French mainland, including French Guiana, and of course in the Caribbean Netherlands. I think that's a really nice touch, really. It shows these parts still get some love. On top of that, aside from all the world updates and physical changes, we've seen plenty of fixes to the sim overall. They fix some issues with tree displays and I haven't noticed a massive difference here because I've got an add-on that generally fixes this issue already. And of course water masks have been updated in the places where the sim in places where the world update is updated. We've seen some bug fixes with planes such as the pit special black screens being fixed and they've updated the diamond DA40 next generation speed, ground roll and fuel consumption. If you've got a honeycomb yoke like me, they fixed a 10 degrees heading issue. I have to say, I'm not too sure what they talk about here. I haven't experienced many issues with it. So, there we have it. World Update 4 for Microsoft Flight Simulator France and Benelux. Plenty of beautiful locations around this part of Western Europe and their associated territories. I mean, it is an update that stems more than over Europe, it stems over into South America and of course the Caribbean. That's something that is really nice. And with hundreds of updates all across France, Benelux, it is worth the 22GB, especially if you fly in this area. For me, photogrammetry is a bit of a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I really like it, other times I don't. So sometimes I do find myself deleting the package, as I do find it can eat into your FPS at times. But aside from that, we've had three beautiful new handcrafted airports, which are always really nice. And of course, those improvements to over 100 additional airports. That is a really massive thing, in my opinion. Of course, it doesn't make them handcrafted, but that many improvements to so many airports is admirable. There we have it guys. This has been my video on the Microsoft Flight Simulator updates. I do update videos like this every single time there's a Microsoft Flight Simulator update. As well as that, I keep you up to date with the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator add-on news. And I also produce real-world aviation content. Be sure to hit that sub button as well as check out my Amazon affiliate links down below for all the equipment I use to fly on flight sims and make my videos. Before we wrap up, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my business class and first class channel members. My first class channel members get a shout out on the screen now. If you want to become a channel member, click that join button down below. I'm going to wrap this video up here, guys. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy flying around this beautiful part of Europe. But from me today, that is all. Bye-bye.